हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एस जी एजुकेशन टुडे वी विल सी क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर फोर्टीन मेजरमेंट एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ हीट एक्सरसाइज सॉल्यूशंस सो क्वेश्चन वन होम शुड आई पेयर विथ ग्रुप ए फर्स्ट टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ हेल्थी ह्यूमन बॉडी सेकेंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वॉटर थर्ड रूम टेम्परेचर फोर्थ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वॉटर ग्रुप बी ए टू हंड्रेड नाइंटी सिक्स केल्विन बी नाइंटी एट पॉइंट सिक्स डिग्री फेर एन हाइट सी जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस डी टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व डिग्री फेर एन हाइट सो एंसर टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ हेल्थी ह्यूमन बॉडी नाइंटी डिग्री फेर एन हाइट सेकंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वॉटर टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व डिग्री फेर एन हाइट थर्ड रूम टेम्परेचर टू हंड्रेड नाइंटी सिक्स केल्विन फोर फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वॉटर जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस क्वेश्चन वन बी हुई इज टेलिंग द ट्रूथ क्वेश्चन ए द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ सब्सटन्स इज मेजर्ड इन जूल आंसर फॉल्स द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ सब्सटन्स इज मेजर्ड इन डिग्री सेल्सियस और डिग्री फेर एन हाइट क्वेश्चन बी हीट फ्लोज फ्रॉम एन ऑब्जेक्ट एट हायर टेम्परेचर टू एन ऑब्जेक्ट एट लोअर टेम्परेचर आंसर ट्रू क्वेश्चन सी द जूल इज द यूनिट ऑफ हीट आंसर ट्रू क्वेश्चन डी ऑब्जेक्ट्स contract on heating answer false in general objects expand on heating there are some exceptions to this you will learn about them in standard x 10 question e atoms of a solid are free answer false atoms of a solid are bound to each other due to the forces acting between them question f the average kinetic energy of atoms in a hot object is less than the average kinetic energy of atoms in a cold object answer false the average kinetic energy of atoms in a hot object is more than the average kinetic energy of atoms in a cold object question c you will find if you search question a a thermometer is used to measure answer a thermometer is used to measure temperature question b the apparatus used to measure heat is called a answer the apparatus used to measure heat is called calorimeter question c temperature is the measure of the fill in the blank of kinetic energy of the atoms in a substance answer temperature is the measure of the average kinetic energy of the atoms in a substance question d the heat contained in a substance is the measure of the fill in the blank kinetic energy of the atoms in the substance answer the heat contained in a substance is the measure of the total kinetic energy of the atoms in the substance question 2 nishigandha kept a vessel containing all the ingredients for making tea in a solar cooker shivani kept a similar vessel on a stove what tea will be ready first and why answer shivani's tea will be ready first reason in a given time the amount of heat received by the vessel on a stove is far greater than that received by the vessel kept in a solar cooker question 3 write brief answers question a describe a clinical thermometer how does it differ from the thermometer used in a laboratory answer A clinical thermometer has a narrow stem and a long long bulb filled with mercury or alcohol. There is a small 
constriction in the stem above the bulb when the bulb of thermometer is held in the armpit or the mouth of a patient the mercury or alcohol in the bulb rises in the stem when it is taken out of the patient's body the small constriction does not allow the mercury from the stem to retreat into the bulb thus this arrangement enables us to read the temperature of the patient's body at is after the removal of the thermometer from his body the clinical thermometer is graduated from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius at 37 degree celsius there is a red arrow mark which indicates the temperature of a healthy person the thermometer used in a laboratory has wider range and does not have constriction like a clinical thermometer question b what is the difference between heat and temperature answer heat is related to the total kinetic energy of the atoms in a substance while temperature is related to the average kinetic energy of the atoms in the substance heat flows from a body at higher temperature to a body, body at lower temperature thus temperature is a quantity that determines the direction of flow of heat it is a quantitative measure of the degree of hotness or coldness of a body higher temperature does not mean higher heat content suppose a vessel a contains 2 liters of water at 90 degree celsius and a vessel b contains 100 ml of water at 91 degree celsius then the heat content of water in a is greater than that of water in b but the temperature of water in b is higher than that of water in a units of heat heat is usually expressed in calorie kilo calorie and joule it can also be expressed in erg as heat is a form of energy question c explain the construction of a calorie meter draw the necessary type figure figure shows the construction of a calorie meter like a thermo flask A calorie meter has two vessels the inner vessels made of copper is thermally isolated from the surroundings the outer vessel is made of wood and is covered with a heat resistant lid the lid has two holes one for the thermometer and the other for the stirrer the inner and outer surfaces of inner vessel are polished from minimizing exchange of heat with the surroundings by radiation a heat resistant ring covers the inner vessel question d explain why rails have gaps at specific distances answer the rails expand in summer due to increase in the temperature of the atmosphere also they expand due to rise in temperature caused by the friction between the rails and the wheels of the running train if there is no gap between successive rails of a railway line the rails would bend due to expansion this bending and twisting of the rails would cause accidents hence a gap is kept between successive rails of a railway line to make provision for their expansion in summer question e explain with the help of formulae the expansion coefficients of liquid and gas answer a liquid is held in a container when it is heated both the container and the liquid expand the expansion of the container is usually very small compared to that of the liquid in it often it can be ignored 
सपोज अ लिक्विड इज हीटेड सो दैट इट्स टेम्परेचर राइजेस बाय डेल्टा टी एंड इट्स वॉल्यूम इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम वी वन टू वी टू एक्सपेरिमेंटली इट इज फाउंड दैट द इंक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम वी टू माइनस वी वन इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू वी वन एंड डेल्टा टी हेंस वी टू माइनस वी वन ए वी वन डेल्टा टी देर फोर वी टू माइनस वी वन इज इक्वल टू बीटा वी वन डेल्टा टी वेर बीटा इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ प्रोपर्शनैलिटी कॉल द वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एक्सपांशन कोइफिशंट्स ऑफ द लिक्विड बीटा इज इक्वल टू वी टू माइनस वी वन अपॉन वी वन डेल्टा टी इट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन पर डिग्री सेल्सियस वी हैव वी टू इज इक्वल टू वी वन प्लस बीटा वी वन डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू वी वन इंटू वन प्लस बीटा डेल्टा टी बीटा इज द इंक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम ऑफ लिक्विड पर यूनिट ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम पर यूनिट राइज इन इट्स टेम्परेचर A gas is enclosed in a container when it is heated at constant pressure both the container and the gas expand suppose a gas is heated at constant pressure so that its temperature rises by delta t and its volume increases from v1 to v2 experimentally it is found that the increase in volume v2 minus v1 is proportional to v1 and delta t Hence, v2 minus v1, a de v1 delta t. Therefore, v2 minus v1 is equal to beta v1 delta t, where beta is a constant of proportionality. The volumetric expansion coefficient, called the constant pressure expansion coefficient, beta is equal to v2 minus v1 upon v1 delta t. It is expressed in per degree Celsius. we have v2 is equal to v1 plus beta v1 t is equal to v1 into 1 plus beta delta t beta is the increase in the volume of a gas per unit original volume per unit rise in its temperature when the pressure is kept constant question 4 solve the following examples question a what must be the temperature in fahrenheit so that it will be twice its value in celsius solution given f is equal to 2c therefore c celsius is equal to f by 2 so f is equal to question mark so f minus 32 upon 9 is equal to c upon 5 So F minus thirty two upon nine is equal to F by two upon five. Therefore, F minus thirty two is equal to nine by five F by two. So one by eight. So one point eight F by two is equal to zero point nine F. So therefore, F minus zero point nine F is equal to thirty two. Therefore, zero point one F is equal to thirty two. Therefore. F is equal to zero point nine F is equal to thirty two, and therefore zero point one F is equal to thirty two. F is equal to thirty two upon zero point one is equal to three hundred twenty degree Fahrenheit. Question B: A bridge is made from twenty m long iron rods at temperature eighteen degree Celsius. The distance between two rods is zero point four centimeter. Up to what temperature will the bridge be in good shape? Solution: Given L1 is equal to 20 meter, L2 minus L1 is equal to 0.4 centimeter. Is equal to 4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 meter. T1 is equal to 18 degree Celsius. Lambda for iron is equal to 11.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 degree Celsius. L2 minus L1 is equal to lambda L1 delta T. Very. So, therefore, yes. delta T is equal to L2 minus L1 upon lambda L1 is equal to 4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 meter upon 11.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 degree Celsius multiplied by 20 meter is equal to 400 upon 23 degree Celsius. 
विच इज इक्वल टू अबाउट सेवनटीन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन डिग्री सेल्सियस नाउ डेल्टा टी इज इक्वल टू टी एफ माइनस टी आई देर फोर टी एफ इज इक्वल टू टी आई प्लस डेल्टा टी सो देर फोर टी एफ इज इक्वल टू एटीन डिग्री सेल्सियस प्लस सेवनटीन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री नाइन डिग्री सेल्सियस द ब्रिज विल बी इन गुड शेप अप टू थर्टी Question C. At 15 degrees Celsius, the height of Eiffel Tower is 324 meter. If it is made of iron, what will be the increase in length in centimeter at 30 degrees Celsius? Answer. Given delta T is equal to 30 degrees Celsius minus 15 degrees Celsius is equal to 50 de 15 degrees Celsius. L1 is equal to 324 meter. Lambda for iron is equal to 11.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 degrees Celsius. L2 minus L1 is equal to lambda L1 delta T. So therefore, is equal to 11.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 degrees Celsius multiplied by 324 meter multiplied by 15 degrees Celsius is equal to 55,890 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 meter is equal to 55,890 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 2 centimeter is equal to 55,890 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter is equal to 5.589 centimeter. This is the increase in the length. That is the increase in the height of Eiffel Tower. Question D: Two substances A and B have specific heats C and 2C respectively. If A and B are given Q and 4Q amounts of heat respectively, the change in heat in their temperatures is the same. If the mass of A is m, what is the mass of B? Answer. Data C of A is equal to C and C of B is equal to two C. Q of A is equal to Q. Q of B is equal to four Q. Delta T is same. So M of A is equal to M. Then M of B is equal to what? So Q is equal to M C delta T. So from this delta T is equal to Q upon M C. As delta T is the same for substances A and B, we have Q of A upon M of A into C of A is equal to Q of B upon M of B into C of B. Therefore, Q upon M C is equal to 4Q upon M of B into 2C. So, 1 upon M is equal to 2 upon M of B. Therefore, M of B is equal to 2M. This is the mass of B. Question E. When a substance having mass 3 kg receives 600 calorie of heat, its temperature increases by 10 degrees Celsius. What is the specific heat of the substance? Answer: M is equal to 3 kg is equal to 3000 gram. Q is equal to 600 calorie. Delta T is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. C is equal to question mark. So. Q is equal to M C into delta T. So therefore, C is equal to Q upon M delta T is equal to 600 calorie upon 3000 gram multiplied by 10 degrees Celsius. So after calculating, we get is equal to 0.02 calorie or gram degree Celsius. This is the specific heat of the substance. Our chapter fourteen measurement and effects of heat exercise solutions are completed. If you like this video and want to see the similar videos, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel SG Education. Thank you.